The beauty of fishing is basically to bring this family together and create the bond between you and your kids. Hopefully one day as a grandfather, I'll be sitting here and my grandkids will be doing the same thing that my kids have been doing and are doing so far. My name is Karim Kaptan. I'm 19 years old, Lebanese, and I'm a passionate angler. My name is Omar Kaptan. I'm 16 years old. I'm the younger brother, and I'm also a passionate angler. We've been fishing for as long as we can remember. It's something that we've grown up with and something that we grow increasingly passionate for with every passing day. And we credit that mainly to our father who has introduced us to this beautiful way of life at such an early age. Killing hard fishing? Yes. Do you want to take a break? No. I'm Dia Kaptan. I'm the father of Karim and Omar. And basically, uh, ever since they were young kids, I've been taking them out on fishing. I started fishing when I was two years old. I accompanied my dad on all the fishing trips. Eventually, I started to cast on the most powerful fish in the seven seas, the bluefin tuna. When I was 12 years old, I hooked up onto my first bluefin tuna using the Zinac Tobizo 150. It took some significant manpower in order to land it. So you know, it's something very special and something that I'm very proud of him for. Atlantic bluefin tuna enter the Mediterranean through the Strait of Gibraltar, where they make their way towards the eastern Mediterranean to reach us here in Lebanon. What's fascinating about the tuna season here in Lebanon is just how crazy the action can be. Lots of tuna today, lots of tuna everywhere. Tuna come in massive amounts and they can be located all across the shore. Not only that, but they produce some breathtaking frenzies and can be very aggressive. Whoa, bro! Lots of tuna everywhere. Unbelievable day. Another thing that's worth noting is just how close they could be to shore sometimes. Sometimes they can be spotted within just a couple of miles far from shore. And you can reach them in just five to 10 minutes. These factors make Lebanon the tuna paradise that it is, and are just things that are fascinating to any angler.
start a fishing day off by preparation. What that means is we get to the boat, we prepare the boat, but most importantly, we get the gear ready. We like to keep a wide variety of rods on the boat. Another thing we like to do is keep a diverse set of different lures because we never know what the tuna are feeling like for the day. They might be going for poppers, sometimes it's swim baits, sometimes it's stick baits, sometimes it's jigs. We don't know what they're going for, so we like to keep the diversity always ready. When it comes to tuna fishing, one of the main challenges basically is to find the tuna and the tuna scouting. And there are a lot of challenges associated with it because it's like finding a needle in a haystack. And usually me and my brother are out at front and we're looking for the tuna, we're scouting for the tuna. Once we've found these schools, the next is actually casting at the fish. If all is done well and we get the hook up, then this is the best part of any fishing trip, at least in my experience. You're just popping your lure or you're guiding your stick bait and out of nowhere, the most powerful fish in the seven seas absolutely destroys your lure. <laughs> then we follow this up with a couple strong hookups to set the hook and then the fish goes crazy. This is the part we love the most, just hearing the drag scream, just having the rod bend and just go crazy. 
I think it's been a good 25 minutes we've been fighting. Uh, should be around 50 meters deep and uh, we hope to get this. Yeah. The riskiest and most difficult process, the turn of death. The turn of death is usually the last five to 10 meters of the fight. This is where the circle of the fish becomes very wide, meaning that the boat has to be constantly maneuvered and the angler has to continuously position himself in the best position to avoid any human error. Zinak is a brand I feel a personal connection with. I've been using Zinak ever since I was a little kid, especially now when it comes to bluefin tuna casting. A rod which allowed me to catch some of the craziest fish that I would have never dreamt of. You know, from emotions raging, from the joy and the adrenaline when you hook the fish. Hey, go! Oh! Oh! oh. To the excitement when you fight the fish, to the fulfillment and happiness when you catch the fish. Oh yeah. <laughs> and sometimes the pain and agony when you lose the fish. Oh. oh. Now that happens. We lost it. It was a big one. Zinak have been producing their rods ever since 1960. They're one of the few brands in the world that manufacture their own blanks and that every rod of theirs is personally handmade. When you think about the technical aspects of every rod they produce, they're simply out of this world. The perfect balance between castability and lifting power is simply breathtaking. When it comes to castability, this is a rod that can truly allow you to cast farther than ever. What's even more special is the fact that given this amazing castability, there's no compromise with regards to the lifting power. Another very important aspect is the grip that's on these rods, the hexagon grip. Sometimes we have fights that range up to three, four, maybe even five hours, and it can get very tiring when it comes to the grip. But with Zenak, it just feels like it fits your hand so perfectly, so naturally, that that strain or tiring effect is not even there. You know, essentially, if I was asked to describe Zenak in one sentence, I'd say the perfect balance between everything. Castability, lifting power, grip, whatever you need, I feel like this rod gives me. Nice yes. one, nice one, nice one. One of the most memorable events in my fishing career happened back in the summer. 
when I was able to land my personal best and largest bluefin tuna. The fight was very challenging. It took us around two and a half hours, dragged us seven kilometers, and brought us very close to the Lebanese-Syrian border. Not only that, but the fight was done on a very shallow depth, ranging from around 50 to 60 meters. We persisted, we were determined, and we were able to land the fish. The fish turned out to be 90 kilos, my personal best. Another very significant thing about this fight is that it was all done on the Zenak Simpa rod. Even though the rod was not designed to catch such monstrous sizes, it exceeded all expectations. It put in a significant performance and allowed me to achieve my dream and to catch the fish of a lifetime. A true monster. Thank you, Zenak, for allowing me to trust you with your gear. Honestly, the biggest fish I've ever caught. Amazing. The bluefin tuna is a very stubborn fish, and it can easily defeat you. There's a reason the bluefin tuna is regarded as one of the strongest fish in the seven seas. Catching one is never an easy challenge, with the difficulties beginning as soon as the fish hits the depth, or more specifically, the thermocline. The thermocline is basically the depth at which the fish is most comfortable. This is where the oxygen level and the temperature is most suitable for the fish. With that being said, if you bring it off the thermocline, complete the circle of death without any errors, and successfully gaff the fish, put it on the boat, congratulations, this is what we live for. How big do you think it is? I would say 45 kilos. Uh, I feel hot. I feel hot. Yeah. For me, uh, tuna fishing is a continuous journey. Every single day you, you learn something new and every single day there is something to pass over to your kids, to the next generation. To me, fishing is my ultimate passion. It's a way of life. It's fascinating to think that when you're fighting a tuna, you're fighting such a powerful force of nature that is fighting for its life. And it's a fair game. At the end of the fight, there's only one winner. You either catch the fish or the fish defeats you. What makes this even more beautiful is the fact that we use the best gear in the world. Zenak makes our experience as beautiful as it is and takes it to the next level. After a long and successful day of tuna fishing, we head back to the marina looking forward to our next tuna trip. This is what we live for.